Hey everyone, welcome back to the kingdom. This video is sponsored by XSplit VCam. Now, XSplit VCam is something that I've been using for a little bit now, and I absolutely love it and recommend it. Now, I'm, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use XSplit VCam to change your camera from looking like this to looking like this. Now, this is a really awesome effect that can be done by using VCam. It's very simple to do. And if you're using it to stream, this is just for people that want to stream, that are streaming, or if you just want to use your camera and make your camera look very nice on like Skype or something, it can achieve the same effect. So if I were streaming, then I could have it looking like this, which is really awesome. Or, you know, on another screen, looks pretty cool as well. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to set it up, how it works. It's very simple. Let's get right into it. So this is XSplit VCam. As you can see, it's a very simple, small program. There's a couple options you want to be aware of, but the first thing that you want to do when you first get the program is calibrate it. It should walk you through that automatically when you first sign in and start using it. But here is what calibration is. And basically, it's going to examine your camera, examine how you look on your camera, the movements that you do, and pretty much set the settings that may work best for you. It also examines your hardware to see what might work for your specifications. But let's walk you through calibration. It's pretty simple again. How to get there if you already have the program up is simply go to, to calibrate. Bam. So it's running the hardware test right now. We're going to let it do what it does. As you can see, um, it takes a couple of minutes, but uh, I'll be right back once it's done. All right. So the hardware tests are complete. We're just going to continue. There we go. So now we're back. It knows which camera we're doing. So now here is step two of the calibration. Now it's going to ask us to stay in the shot. So stay in the frame for about 15 seconds and do what you would normally do while you're on stream. If you're a very animated streamer, you move your arms around a lot, you, you, you dance or what, whatever you do on stream, pretty much do that for about 15 seconds so that it can get an idea of your movements and how active you are and how you look, your background and things of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and like I say the timer is going so I'm gonna you know talk I'm gonna look at the camera I'm gonna wave my arms around I'm gonna move from left to right you know we're gonna go in we're gonna go out so that is what you do you're gonna turn your head around turn your head a little bit there you go and it should calibrate now there we go so now hit continue and now we're ready to go we're ready to go so there are a few options. First of all, of course, you can set your camera. If you have more than one camera, you can set which camera that you want to use. I only have one, so that's the one that we're going to select. If your camera has any options, you can simply click on the cogwheel there and bring up your options. So uh, my camera is already set for my preferences, but again, pretty standard stuff. You can set your camera. If you've been streaming for a while, you should know your camera settings by now. There are three different things you can do with XSplit VCam. So right now I have it set for my original background because I have, you know, I don't have a green screen or anything like that. And I don't really use green screen effects. Then I just have it set for my original background with the original background. The main thing that you are probably going to be doing is blurring your background. Now this gives a nice effect, especially, you know, if your background, your, if your background is, is nice, but it's kind of cluttered. It's a, it's, it's a really nice effect to have the colors in the background so people can still see that there's things there, but they're not the main focus. So now if I go ahead and do this, this is the slider. You choose the amount of blur that you want. I usually set it for 15 because from my testing, that looks the best to me. But you can set it all the way up to 100. You can set it for as low as you want, as high as you want. But as you can see right now, I believe that that looks pretty good. You can see that there is stuff behind me and those some of those things look pretty interesting but i am still the main focus and the center of, of attention and it kind of makes you pop out a little bit too for some reason so that's a pretty good setting but again if i want to set it to 50 you know or 34 whatever the case may be you can blur it as much as you want to the higher the setting though the more aggressive the effect is going to be so i kind of like a little a smooth blur so that's why i think 15 is kind of the sweet spot you know it's not too aggressive it doesn't look like it's too um it doesn't look like it's too manufactured it looks like it could be a regular camera that's doing this blur effect and not software but if you go to the extreme then it starts getting very blurry so but you can do as soft or as harsh as you want 15 is pretty good 15 is pretty good now there is there are a couple of other things that you can do with the software like I said, you can replace your background. So if you have an image 
that you want to have in your background instead of your current background you can select an image to put in there um, so let's see if I can find something really quickly <laughs> alright so I found a stock photo of a car to put as my background so you, as you can see it, it removed me from the uh, the image now I have a car behind me you can also choose different options here to remove your chair so let's let's keep the chair in the shot see how that looks so now that looks a little bit better so the chair is in the shot my background is removed you can choose to blur the background again if you if you want or you can have this the background be the same now one other thing that you want to make sure that you're doing is there's different options here so there's quality controls you can also choose your hardware so now if you have multiple graphics cards then you want to choose a graphics card that's not going to be the main one that you're using I have a graphics card that that is in my uh, CPU so I'm gonna go ahead and choose that one and then for the quality I'm gonna set it to the highest highest quality and again that's gonna give you a much smoother appearance when you're actually doing this so now the frame rate is at you know a, a, a better frame rate it doesn't look as choppy as it looked before those are things that you want to make sure that you're paying attention to when you're setting this up and finally what you can also do is just completely remove your background so if you want to have a green screen effect without having a green screen then you can just remove the background and then you know you can have yourself floating on your stream you know it's similar to what a, a green screen would, would achieve as well um, again you can set up these options here you can remove your chair your chair if you don't want the chair to be in the shot simple as that it does a pretty good job and again you can play around with the quality settings and see what works best for your hardware configuration all right guys so that was a quick look at XSplit vcam if you want to take a look at it the link is in the description again i've gotten a lot of comments while i'm streaming people are saying hey your camera looks so nice what are you what are you what kind of camera is that and i tell them hey no it's not a new camera i'm just using some software vcam to actually achieve this effect that you're seeing so check it out if you have any questions or comments you can leave them and i'll try to answer them to the best that i can but anyway love you guys and i'll see you soon take care guys peace out bye